Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network, and I'm here today with John Rose. John, hi. Hi. So, John, we are at the GVM Summit. So, what is what is happening? Well, I'm just enjoying the company of a lot of brilliant colleagues. The, the for many of us, the JVM Language Summit is the uh, the most enjoyable several days of the of the year professionally because uh, we get to uh, exchange ideas with, with our peers from Oracle and from other parts of the, of the Java ecosystem. So who is here? Give us an, an example. Okay, so um, for example, we have uh, uh, workers from Facebook who are integrating the JVM into their stack and using it in very aggressive ways and these are these are smart guys and, and it's, it's fun talking with them about what their latest ideas are for using Java and, and for processing the, the enormous amounts of data that their company works with. So um, tell us more about like the JVM summit and uh, the sessions. Yeah, so the JVM summit um, is we're in our seventh year of it and I think this is the fifth year that Oracle has sponsored it. Um, and what it is, it is a, um, a small one-room gathering of JVM uh, implementers and language implementers. The intention of it is to give talks to each other and figure out how we're using the JVM to implement uh, new cool kinds of languages and programming constructs and what the pain points are and how to evolve the JVM to fix, the, to fix those pain points. So for example, for in previous years, the invoke dynamic functionality has been an important topic and the, in, the design of invoke dynamic owes a lot to the conversations that we've had at summits in, in past years. So any project this year uh, that you want to talk about? Yeah, yeah, well, the, it's, it's invaluable time to air out ideas that, that are coming, that we think are good, that are worth doing, and check them with the community and get the, all the brains acting on, on some, focusing on some good topics. Uh, the two things that we're talking about, um, at least Oracle, other people have their other really cool ideas and we mix them all together, but two initiatives at Oracle are Project Valhalla and Project Panama. And these are two um, large container projects in OpenJDK, so they're open so people can contribute to them and, and speak into them and, and share their insights. Project Valhalla is about, among other things, value types, which is the, the, by far the largest change to the JVM type system that has ever been done and uh, will refresh the JVM and make it more applicable to vectorized hardware and GPUs and, and other, other new kinds of hardware that, that wasn't really significant when the JVM was first designed. And then Project Panama is uh, a little bit more backward looking um, in some ways. It, it will uh, connect the JVM uh, in, in new ways to um, existing legacy C programs, um, or th that's probably unfair, to new C programs that have been written on these new hardware um, platforms and which the JVM doesn't currently have uh, clean access to. So, it's a, so rather than Valhalla is about internal changes to the JVM to refresh it and make it more applicable to today's hardware, and Panama is about um, an outward move where the JVM can access other uh, data structures such as um, uh, database data or foreign, um, foreign files. Okay. So, and uh, all the talks and so forth will be online afterwards, right? Everything will be online. Um, wonderfully, the, we have uh, videographers collecting the, uh, the talks and the authors will also um, be sharing their slide decks. So uh, as in past years, there uh, will be a good record of these talks. We intentionally limit the number of people that come to the summit. Um, even though we have 10 million Java programmers in the world, uh, unfortunately, that whole community will not fit in a space where we can all talk to each other. Mm -hmm. um, maybe at Moscone Center we can do a big one, but uh, the JVM Language Summit is intentionally designed to be small enough so that everybody can fit in one room and a person on one side of the room can engage all the way across the room with the other people in the room. When a speaker asks for comments, he gets comments from the whole room and everybody can hear each other. And you, you, can, you can't do that with more than about 100 people. Right. Wonderful. Thank you so much for talking to us. It's a Thank pleasure. You.